Leaders are working to pave the way for more Syrian refugees. The plan is to take in 50 refugees per year over the next three years. Religious leaders are getting involved in the process now. 7 Action News reporter Brianne Palmarini tells us what to expect. Since the Syrian refugee crisis, there's been debate about accepting them, but now the city of Detroit is looking into resettling about 150 refugees over the next three years. When news of what was going on with, um, with the Syrian refugees and resettlement across the country became um, really public here in Detroit, we had a number of, of church leaders who came forward and said, how can we help? Which is what prompted today's meeting with city and federal leaders, along with dozens of religious leaders from across the city. As a member of the faith-based community, we decided at the Council of Baptist Pastors that it was urgent for us to be involved. Pastor Thomas Rutherford is just one of those religious leaders looking for ways to assist refugees. Spiritually, financially, uh, economically, jobs, lawyers, whatever we can do to help them. But city leaders say the discussions about refugees will not only benefit people coming from other countries, but Detroiters in need as well, with the possibility of federal funding to improve housing used for both. City leaders say they aren't just looking at one neighborhood for Syrian refugees to relocate to. It could be multiple neighborhoods, but in the end, the decision will all come down to federal resettlement agencies. In Detroit, Brianne Palmarini, 7 Action News.